the raise your hand function. I will call on you. Matt DeFranks, go ahead. Tyler, what was the feeling tonight being back on the ice, uh, both physically and emotionally? It was emotional. Uh, kind of this whole day, you know, trying to make uh, your mind your friend. You know, a lot of uh, excitement, a lot of nerves, and, you know, frankly, a lot of emotion. Um, you know, it was a long, uh, long journey to get to this point, and it's been, it's been tough, you know, watching our team going through everything they have, you know, this whole year and not being able to help. So it was nice to finally get out there. Mike Heike, go ahead. What was the process of getting comfortable in the game? And then how did that lead to the goal in the third period there? Uh, a couple shifts, um, you know, compared to games in the past, you know, prepping for that first game of the year or whatnot, you know, tonight I tried to kind of go in with honestly, not much, expectations just you know take it shift by shift like i've been doing the last kind of you know month which has been you know really day by day um that's how i approach tonight and you know happy to uh get a point but obviously getting a point you know this time of the year is, is tough because we need two um so hopefully we can uh you know, get two in tampa now Saad yusuf go ahead uh, Tyler, you played on all three lines except for the top line on the power play on the penalty kill. How did you feel yeah. in all those situations? I think we had the plan to play eight to ten minutes tonight, so I don't know what the total amount of ice time was. But no, I mean Bones just kind of got in my ear, you know, every two shifts and said we good. And you know, once you're in that moment, that adrenaline, you know, I definitely wasn't going to say no. So. Um, as the game went on and progressed, you know, I felt a little bit more better and, or even better. And then, you know, when it got to overtime, I uh, ran out of steam a little bit. But, um, you know, it was, it was a good uh, good first one, I guess. Matt Franks, go ahead. With the the goal you scored and the what you've been through in the last few months and everything, does it almost feel like uh, your first NHL goal or is it kind of a different feeling entirely? Yeah, I don't know about the first. Uh, you know, I felt kind of more comfortable uh, – quicker than I thought tonight. Um, I really didn't try to overthink much, just told myself before the game, let's rely on instincts. Um, you know, I was really excited for a, a nap today, but like I said, that didn't happen. And, you know, like I said, it was a emotional day. Um, try to just kind of keep to myself and, you know, bust right over. I know everyone goes through injuries, but for some reason this one, uh, well, I know why, but this one definitely got to me just to be able to, be back in the lineup that was kind of scoring a goal for me as it was. Um, so really happy to, to be back. Mike Heike, go ahead. You've been through a lot in the last five years physically with the Achilles and all that kind of stuff. How do you feel where you're at and how your health will be going forward? If you asked me, you know, three months ago, four months ago, there was some days where, you know, I was honestly, and it's not to be a pity party, I was honestly questioning if, I would ever kind of be back to 100% or be back to even playing hockey. You know, it felt like it was a positive day and then just two step backs and steps back. And that's what happens with injuries. But, you know, having two surgeries, um, it was tough. But, you know, really in the last month, I've kind of realized that, you know, with this quad work I've been doing, and I know I posted a video today and some people got some behind the scenes. Um, I really do believe that I can get back to, you know, 100 and 110%. Um, and I couldn't get back to that this season, but with the progress I've made, I know that the, you know, lay at the end of the tunnel is definitely there. Um, and there's no question by next season, I'll be you know, 110. Thank you, Tyler. If you hold there, we will be back with Jamie or Jake.